So welcome back to my channel. It has been a long, long time since I last posted a video. So here's a quick explanation. My life got very, very busy quite quickly. For one, I got married. And then second, my main job became very consuming as my workload dramatically increased. And as a result, that left me very little free time, which meant that my Zelda and Metroid channel got put on the back burner. I was honestly questioning whether or not I would ever be able to return to this channel at any point, even though I had no doubt that I really wanted to. Well that's where the great news comes in. My workload got diminished tremendously on my regular job, and for good reasons. And that freed me up to start uploading on this channel yet again. I've been really wanting to get consistent about producing content over here. So I actually hired an editor for the very first time, with the intent of posting daily videos. That's right, you'll be getting daily Zelda and Metroid videos on this channel. It might take us a little bit of time to work up to that production rate, but I expect we'll be there within the next month. So now that I'm back in the swing of things, we have a lot to discuss. For one, I went off the grid right before Tears of the Kingdom dropped. So I'll be posting a very late review on that, and I'll be talking about what I liked and what I didn't like about it, and as always, I'll be breaking down the various aspects of the lore. I'll also be posting my ranked list of every Zelda game, and of course, I'll be diving back into Metroid lore videos as well, as we continue to anxiously wait for more developments on Metroid Prime 4. But as for the topic of this video, I'm talking about the bombshell news of a live-action Zelda movie. I gotta say, Miyamoto casually announcing on X that he's been working privately on a Zelda movie for quite a while now is basically the most Nintendo way they could have done it. I will say, originally I was hoping for an animated Zelda movie instead, simply because it feels like the more safe option. An animated movie isn't as risky as a live-action one. With a live-action movie, basically everything has to go right for me to like this movie. The casting has to be good, the acting has to be good, the CGI, the atmosphere, and the directing have to be darn near perfect as well. With that being said, I do believe a live-action movie has the highest potential ceiling. Ever since I first saw the Lord of the Rings movies in the early 2000s, I've been envisioning a live-action Hyrule with the beauty and the epic scale of those movies. That's the love and the attention to detail that a franchise like this deserves. The thing is, that's much easier said than done, and it's probably more likely that it's closer to Dragon Ball Evolution than it is to Lord of the Rings. But there's something else that I only recently considered, and it's made me a little less anxious about how this movie turns out. Some may think that this live-action Zelda movie has to be a massive success in order for us to get more Zelda movies in the future. But I don't actually think that's the case, and here's why. At the very root of Zelda lore and canon is the overarching story of reincarnation. Nearly every version of Link and Zelda in the video games is a different version from the games before it. In most cases, every Legend of Zelda story is capsulated within its own world. This is why we have so many different looking Links and Zeldas. This is why the Link from Wind Waker and the Link from Twilight Princess can both exist within the story's canon. They don't completely look like one another because they're literally different people. So from the perspective of the lore, the Legend of Zelda movies should be more of the same. Rather than a continual saga with the same actors, each movie should have its own unique cast, with its own unique story within the massive chronological universe. I hope to God that they don't cast Tom Holland as Link, but let's hypothetically say that Nintendo and Sony does just that. In theory, they should be able to produce this movie with a live-action style, and even if people don't happily receive it, years later, they can make an animated movie with a brand new group of voice actors, and with a completely different story from another era of Hyrule. In this sense, there's less pressure on the Zelda franchise compared to other franchises, because Zelda stories essentially hit the reset button nearly every time there's a new installment. Anyway, that's just my opinion, but I'm curious to hear your opinions in the comments section below. I must say, it's good to be back. 
Thanks for watching as always. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Zelda content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.